Welcome to Quick Team Building Activities, where you bring the team, we bring the activities. Today's focus, five quick virtual activities to play with Padlet. Padlet is a really fun and interactive platform to allow you to interact with your team, students, or with friends. As always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this. On this channel, we focus on our team building activities for you and your team. Let's have fun. In this video, we're gonna learn about the Padlet platform and how to use it and log in. Then we're gonna learn five games using the wall board in Padlet. We're gonna have a really good time. There are no materials needed for this game other than the Padlet platform, the internet, and a computer. Once again, these are virtual activities. The time needed for these activities is about five to 10 minutes. However, you'll find that as you engage in more conversation, you'll be able to extend this for even 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how much engagement you want to have. Padlet is a free online tool that is best described as an online notice board. Padlet can be used by students and teachers and people to post notes on a common page. The notes posted by teachers and students can contain links, videos, images, and document files. Padlet is a really fun and interactive way for you to get some feedback directly from your students, teachers, or employees and engage them in quick conversations. It's a great and effective strategy. You first want to make sure that you log in to Padlet and create an account. You can do this fairly easy. It makes the process really smooth for you. You can log in using Apple, Google, or Microsoft. Once you log in, you want to make sure that you sign up for the free account. You can also sign up for the pro account, but I found over my time, just having the basic free account will last forever and it works just fine. When you first log in, you want to make sure that you create and make a Padlet. Once you log in, you'll also see that you have three available tabs or spaces for you to create Padlets. Just so you know, to be clear with the free account, you only get three. But like I said before, you can recycle, delete, or modify as needed. Once you log in, you'll see this page, which allows you to sit back and pick between multiple layouts. For this particular video, we're focusing on the wall board and the activities you can use within the wall board. But we'll be creating future videos that talk about all the different strategies that you can use for team building activities using Padlet. Once you log in, you want to make sure that you write a description, write a title, and begin the process of just customizing your Padlet to fit your particular style and goals. In this next section, you want to make sure that you're deciding whether or not if you want the post to come first or last. If you want comments, which is actually a really good idea. Additionally, if you also want to require approval for the profanity. Um, and then also, if you want to make sure that you're having reactions, which includes like buttons, um, upvotes, and things of that nature. Once you're done customizing and playing with the attributes, you then want to make sure that you save it and then click on the option for sharing. In Share, you get the option to copy to a clipboard, get a QR code, embed into your blog or website, email, share through Facebook, Twitter, or share on Google Classroom. I like the option of just copying a link to the clipboard and just pasting the information in chat. When demonstrating how to use Padlet to your teachers, students, friends, or employees, you want to tell them that you want to make sure that you click the plus sign on the bottom in order to create a post. For the first game, you want to make sure that your friends, teachers, employees, or students are searching the web for an image that describes how they feel. This is a fun and engaging activity because this provides an opportunity for your friends, employees, teachers, or students to be creative and have fun. Basically, what they'll do is they'll find an image, describe one word to describe how they feel, and you can engage in a discussion. For this next particular activity, you can ask your employees, friends, students, or teachers to locate a song snippet that gets you excited and to explain why. I've done this a number of times with my staff and employees and my teachers, and they've had a really great time with this. In this one particular activity, you can actually break out into breakout groups or do in a large group session. Basically, you allow people to share their song and then describe why they like the actual song and how it connects with them 
and gets them excited. This one can actually take a long time, or you can make it really short, just your call. In this next activity, you can ask your employees, teachers, friends, or students to identify a word that describes themselves, and then they can actually find an image that connects with that one word. I've done this in a couple of different other settings where employees would draw an image, but you can be really creative with this one particular activity. But this particular activity, it pushes for creativity, asks the staff members to do something different, and also and creates an opportunity for staff members to get to know each other differently. You can do this in breakout groups, or you can do this in a large group setting. You decide based upon your time and what you're looking for. In this next activity, you can ask your students, friends, employees, or your teachers to share an image of something important to them and to share why. You can also create some qualifications in terms of you're looking for something in four sentences or you're looking for something in two sentences. You can create your boundaries as to what you're looking for. This one particular activity allows people to learn more about each other. So you can decide if you want to have small group sessions and then bring them back into a large group and then have to let people share out and explain their particular image. This next activity, you want to ask your friends, teachers, employees, or students to explain what is your favorite movie and why. Once again, you can create some qualifications in terms of how long you want the sentences to be, um, whether or not if it's a feel-good movie, whether it's an action movie, you can be creative in what you want to do. This is another one that allows people to build a connection. So you may want to decide to break them back into small breakout groups and allow five to ten minutes for groups to share out and then come back together and allow individuals to share out into the larger group session. And that's it. Five quick virtual activities with Padlet. Hope you're able to learn something about Padlet. Remember, always keep it fun, engaging, keep it lively. Lastly, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more activities like this. Also, put your notifications on because we post consistently.